हेलो माय लवली फ्यूचर कॉर्पोरेट मजदूर्स सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम मोज आस क्वेश्चन इन टीसीएस इंटरव्यू सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम लेट्स मूव ऑन डू हिट अ लाइक बटन एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल सो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज व्हाट इज एन ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम सो यू नीड टू रिमेंबर द इन पॉइंट्स लाइक एन ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम इज अ सिस्टम सॉफ्टवेयर ओके डेट्स एक्ट एज एन इंटरमीडिएटरी बिटवीन द यूजर एंड द हार्डवेयर इट इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट दैट इट एक्ट एज एन इंटरमीडिएटरी बिटवीन द यूजर एंड द हार्डवेयर ओके द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट यू कैन रिमेंबर इज इट मैनेजेस हार्डवेयर रिसोर्सेज एंड द लास्ट एंड इंपॉर्टेंट वन इज इट प्रोवाइड्स एन इन्वायरमेंट फॉर एप्लीकेशन सॉफ्टवेयर टू रन यू रन एवरी सॉफ्टवेयर ऑन एन ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम सो या ऑब्वियसली इट प्रोवाइड्स एन इन्वायरमेंट फॉर ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम टू रन The functions of operating system are process management, memory management, file system management, device management, security access control, and user interface. Let's move on. What is a process and a thread? So a process is an instance of a program in execution. Means the program which is executing it is an instance of that, having its own memory space, code, data, and stack, and thread is a smallest unit of execution within a process what you got process is an instance of a program in execution and thread is a smallest unit of execution within a process so multiple threads can exist within the same process and share its memory space okay the features are you can see mem uh, in process memory is separate for each processes whereas in thread memory is shared within the same process overhead in process is more and overhead in thread is less communication in process is inter process communication whereas in thread it is a shared memory communication what are the different types of operating system so there are typically this type of operating system the first one is batch os it is it execute batches of jobs with no user interactions time sharing os is multiple user use the system interactively example unix distributed os is manages multiple computers to appear as a single system and real time os is respond to input instantly example medical system network os is manages networking resources example novel network and mobile os is for mobile devices example android and ios what is deadlock how it can be prevented so most important deadlock is an important topic in os when you go for an interview so deadlock is a condition where a set of processes are blocked okay here uh, it is a condition where set of processes are blocked because each process is holding a resource and waiting for another resource which is held by another process so this is how one circle and loop is created one is waiting and other is also waiting and they all are dependent on each other which creates a circle so this is a deadlock no one is uh, getting forward necessary condition for deadlock is mutual exclusion hold and wait no preemption and circular wait so what are these we will see in details like mutual exclusion is at least one resource must be held in non shareable mode means one resource is can use the resource at any given time example a printer can be used by two processes at the same time hold and wait is a process is holding at least one resource and is waiting to acquire additional resources that are currently held by other process an example you can see is a process holds a printer and waits for a scanner that is being used by another process so this uh, this example is to understand your basics uh, means how it is working and what is it no preemption means resources cannot be forcefully taken away from a process holding them okay they must be released voluntarily by the process example if a process holds a scanner it cannot taken away by the system it must release it after use the last one is circular wait which is there must be a circular chain of two or more processes where each process is waiting for a resource held by next process in chain 
लाइक एग्जाम्पल यू कैन सी प्रोसेस ए वेट्स फॉर रिसोर्स हेल्ड बाई प्रोसेस बी एंड बी वेट्स फॉर अ रिसोर्स हेल्ड बाई सी एंड सी वेट्स फॉर अ रिसोर्स हेल्ड बाई ए दिस इज अ फॉर्म सर्कल सो लीडिंग टू डेड लॉक की पॉइंट्स यू नीड टू रिमेम्बर इज दैट इफ ऑल फोर कंडीशन आर ट्रू एट द सेम टाइम अ डेड लॉक कैन ऑकर प्रिवेंटिंग इवन वन ऑफ दिस कंडीशन कैन अवॉइड द डेड लॉक सिस्टम सो इफ यू प्रिवेंट एनी लाइक यू यू रिमूव द म्यूचुअल एक्सक्लूजन दैन ऑल्सो इट कैन बी रिमूव फ्रॉम द डेड लॉक इवन यू वॉट टू रिमूव द सर्कुलर वेट एंड ऑल सो एनी कंडीशन विल बी रिमूव दैन दिस विल अवॉइड द डेड लॉक let's move on so deadlock prevention strategies are eliminate hold and wait by acquiring all resource at once use resource ordering to prevent circular wait and allow preemption of resources and last avoid mutual exclusion where possible let's move on what is semaphore so a semaphore is a synchronization primitive used to control access to shared resources in concurrent flow type of two types binary semaphore and counting semaphore so binary semaphore is that only we use two values 0 and 1 in counting semaphore we can range over an unrestricted domain means it can be in plus or it can be in minus uh if we use wait then it decreases the semaphore and if we use use signal then it increments the semaphore means sig- wait is for decrementing and signal is for uh, incrementing what is paging and segmentation so we will see in detail so paging you can uh, remember that it is a fixed size memory management okay its purpose is to avoid the external fragmentation and make memory allocation efficient efficient so how it works logical memory what the program sees is divided into equal size blocks called pages physical memory which is ram is divided into equal size block called frames the os keeps a page table to map each pages to a frame this is how uh, paging works and the key points you need to note that the size of all pages is equal to size of all frames a process can be stored non contiguously in different frame scattered across the ram okay faster memory access and no external fragmentation but can cause internal fragmentation and internal fragmentation is unused space in a frame means if there is um, the ram we will discuss later okay analogy is think of a book okay uh, book as a as your program and being broken into equal size pages okay your book is now broken into equal size pages these pages are then stored randomly across cells um, uh, assume that as frames in ram the table of content which is a page table keeps track of where each page is placed this is how a paging works segmentation is variable size memory management so what is its purpose its purpose is to better reflect the logical structure of a program how it works logical memory is divided into segments based on the logical division like code segment stack segment data segment and each segment is variable in size means whatever size you want you can take the os maintains a segment table storing the base address and the limit of the length for each segment key point is segments are of different sizes okay because it is a variable size better for modularity and logical separation of code and can lead to external fragmentation okay imagine uh, how segment work imagine your program as a library with section like fiction non fiction history and science books and all each section segment is of different size they are placed in different parts of the library a segment table tells you where each uh, section starts and how it is big okay now paging versus segmentation uh, here we can see difference uh, on the deep basis of diffusion um, paging is of fixed size pages and segmentation is of logical units like code data etc size of paging in paging size are all equal but in segment it can be variable size in paging fragmentation is internal fragmentation and in segmentation uh, there is external fragmentation paging addressing page plus offset 
addressing and in segmentation addressing is of segment number plus offset and mapping table uh, is used in paging is in page table and in segmentation we use segment table so paging is physical memory is divided into fixed size blocks which is called frames and logical memory is divided into pages okay whereas in segmentation divides the program into segments like code stack and data what is virtual memory a virtual memory is a memory management technique that gives the allusion of a large main memory by using a portion of secondary memory like hard disk we use secondary memory and uh, it uh, creates an illusion that it is our main memory okay uh, so it allows running program larger than the actual ram using the ram implemented using paging or segmentation with demand paging difference between multitasking multithreading and multiprocessing most of the people have doubt so be clear in this video multitasking is where running multiple task or process simultaneously okay multitasking they are performing lots of task at the same time means simultaneously we are performing the task multithreading is multiple threads in the uh, in the same process we have a single process and we have a multiple thread in that process that is multithreading so multiple threads used in the same process multiprocessing is use of multiple cpus or cores is multiple uh, processing means we are processing with lots of cpus that is multiprocessing what is context switching so context switching is a process of storing and restoring the state of cpu storing and restoring the state of cpu so that execution can be resumed from the same point later like if you are seeing any video you keep a pause on that video and when you come back after one hour you can again resume from that place okay this is how the context switching you can remember it occurs when the cpu switches from one process or thread to another okay it involves saving registers program counter etc because uh, if we are not starting from the start we are saving obviously register and program counter and can affect performance due to overhead after that difference between internal and external fragmentation if you are not getting before in the segmentation and paging from part so here it is in internal frag uh, fragmentation we used unused memory within the allocated memory within the allocated blocks example allocated is 8 kb but you are using only 6 kb so uh, 2 kb is still remaining and in that 2 kb even you can't put any other process or programs so that's called uh, cause an uh, gap in the memory so that is external fragmentation is free memory scattered in small blocks can't allocate a big process okay it is scatter it is in the scattered form so we can't allocate a big process in that is scattered small space what is the threshing in os so threshing occurs when the system spends more time swapping pages in and out of the memory than executing the actual process due to insufficient memory okay means system spend more time in, uh, in swapping pages okay. solution is increase the ram or use better page replacement algorithm or use working set model to limit degree of multi programming okay next move to what are pages uh, page replacement algorithms so uh, when a page fault occurs and no free frame is available os must replace a page this is how, what a page replacement algorithm is for so these are the common page replacement algorithm we will see in details uh, first is fifo first in first out that removes the oldest page uh, loaded page okay and simple to implement can lead to poor performance example ballet anomaly and the second is rlu least recently used that replaces the page that hasn't been used for longest time okay based on the idea that pages used recently will likely to be used again soon require hardware or software support to track uses 
optical page replacement is replace the page that will not be used for the longest time in the future theoretical best uh, performance and not practical as it requires the future knowledge of the page references used mainly in uh, as a bank march or compare other algorithms so these are the three common algorithms in which the fifo is oldest page is replaced first oldest page is replaced first in fifo we have already seen simple but may suffer from balladers anomaly explain the producer consumer problem using semaphore so this is a classical synchronization problem and this producer add to a shared buffer whereas consumer refo uh, removes from the buffer here we can see so producer adds uh, items to bounded buffer and uh, consumer removes items from the buffer in goal is to ensure that producer don't add when the buffer is full and consumer don't remove when it's empty while avoiding race condition so uh, semaphore is used as uh, empty is equal to n which tracks how many empty slots are available in the buffer and it starts at n size of the buffer and full is equal to 0 means track how many full slots uh, are in the buffer and it starts at 0 it is a starting point and mutex uh, one is means that primary semaphore to ensure the mutual exclusion example only one thread access the buffer at the uh, time okay so if uh, if there is written weight empty means uh, it will decrease the empty count check if there is um, space in the buffer and decreases the empty count weight mutex means it uh, it locks the critical section to access the buffer safely and signal means you are giving signal means are logging the critical section and uh, signal full is uh, where you increase the count means uh, we have added an item uh, you are don't need to go in depth and avoid this uh, but you are you should know how to explain the consumer and work problem uh, you can also see on the the uh, empty uh, it is a concept feature like concept is mutual exclusion is mutex and avoid overproduction is uh, weight empty is ensured by that and avoid overconsumption is uh, ensured by weightful this is the code of producer and this is the code of consumer what is system call a system call is a programmatic way in which a program requests a service from the operating system okay it is a programmatic way in which a program requests a service from the operating system like uh, you request for read uh, function write fork execute exit these are the system call they provide an interface between the user space and the kernel space explain the swapping so swapping is the process of moving processes between main memory and disk to free up memory memory used in the memory management technique and moves uh, improves the cpu utilization but increases latency done by os uh, as a part of process scheduling so here is the tips for the reason we keep answer short and focused unless asked to elaborate because if you elaborate more they will ask you in the deep and also ask that keywords be ready with the example especially uh, your project part and if asked practical os scenarios means how to avoid deadlock in the system link to real life uh, real use of cases uh, for your development experience other than that guys uh, if you don't know some of the keywords in that do go and uh, uh, check on the google because here i am to only uh, say you most asked question if you have small doubts and certain doubts you can uh, obviously go and check on the google or use any ai tools and all the best guys do subscribe to my channel for any subject do comments in the comment below bye bye